I will present a case with 27 gauge vitrectomy uh, for a ROP neonate born in 25th gestational weeks then it, it, it developed ROP 3 plus in the 36th week gestational weeks in the 30 Sixth, it was laser treated, and one week later, a um, detachment with stage 4b developed. And the planning is now to perform a 27 gauge vitrectomy for a 4b detachment. The sclerotomy is 1.5 mm behind the limbus. I will insert a 27 gauge troca from Dork. Um, the vitrectomy machine I'm using is EVA. It has 7000 cuts per minute and 450 millimeter mercury vacuum. Again, uh, 1.5 millimeter behind the limbus. The next sclerotomy. As you can see, I perform a perpendicular sclerotomy, not lamella. Um, I do not suture the sclerotomies. On the next day follow-up, the globe was, complete, was completely normal tensive and the conjunctiva was white. So there was no hypotony. On this perpendicular sclerotomy, the surgery I will perform is a central and peripheral vitrectomy. The most important thing of this surgery is to have zero complications. If you touch the retina and induce a break, you will have a detachment and blindness. If you have a lens touch, you will have to re remove the lens and you will have an inadvertently amblyopia. So the surgery I'll perform is actually very easy, but with zero tolerance for complications. You can also see the tunica vasculosa lentis and uh, rubiosus iridis, which is quite pronounced if you look closely on the iris. I remove now the valve to insert the infusion line, which is a typical feature of this EVA machine which works with 7,000 cuts per minute for 27 gauge vitrectomy. Yeah, you can see that the trocar forceps is too big 
to hold the valve it's easier with the anatomic forceps so now we can start with the surgery and I'm flipping in the biome, in this case it's a recite biome from Zeiss with a wild field lens now we have some in view on the retina you see the tortuositas vasorum and the detached retina on the temporal side with a low detachment of the macula the nasal side is attached so we have a 4B detachment on the right side I'm holding the vitreous cutter and on the left side the light fiber I'm performing now a peripheral and central vitrectomy it is very important not to induce a retinal hole retinal holes cannot be fixed with neonates the eye will go over to a total detachment and blindness so it's very important to work without complications in these cases the pathology of these eyes is a tractive detachment which means that they have no ruptures and um, the reason of this is that the vitreous of neonates is very viscous it contracts and induces a detachment you can see very many perforations in the mid periphery I will not remove them with the forceps I will instead inject into vitreal lucentis the in view is not the best but you can see that I'm simply performing a central and peripheral vitrectomy in order to remove the viscous vitreous um, the retina will attach within a few days uh, regarding the proliferations I will inject intervitreal renabisumab there is no PVD necessary and there is no peeling necessary working now on the nasal side again I am removing the vitreous you can see that the surgical time is very short and this is counted from insertion of the trocars and removal of the trocars but in this operation safety first don't touch the retina and don't touch the lens just remove the vitreous and inject lucentis or avestin to treat the proliferations
You need no sutures for the scrotomies. Now I will inject intervitreal lucentis, 0 0.4 milligram. And then at the end I will remove the trochas one day at the one day follow up the retina was more attached and within five days it was completely attached. So um, the attachment comes fairly quick. There's a little bit of leakage from the sclerotomy. I, perf I placed no suture, no stitch on the sclerotomy and as already said the next day the globe was completely normal tensive and uh, the conjunctiva was completely white. So it's a very atraumatic procedure, a minimal surgery with a happy end. Thank you very much.